Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Autistic Angler. Yes, I know you'll be happy about it. Lure fishing. So today, me and Jamie, we're in Portsmouth Harbour. And we're going to try lure fishing for bass. Jamie's got some sidewinders. And I've got some small paddle tails. So to start with, looks like he's not going to do Bombarda yet. I'm going to do Bombarda with some small paddle tails. So hopefully we can get something. Right, so we're ready. Um, I've connected the paddle tail with a... Um, perfection loop so it's got a chance to move around a bit I've got about a six foot drop I think it's about six foot yeah it is and straight away I'm going to cast out a bit of weed so if you watch my videos I fished here with Charlie my son last time and that was doing exactly the same as I'm doing today except Jamie's not my son right here we go so first cast it's been a while since I've bombarded and yes I know I've got me bloody bombarder float upside down well I haven't it's what works for me okay that didn't cast very far I forgot about that. This is the problem with the, doing it this way. You've got to watch out where the um, the lure goes when you're casting. That's a better cast. You can still go further than that. But like I say, it's been a while. Just doing a, sleddy, a slow and steady retrieve to start with. Just getting my confidence back up. It's been a long time since I've done this. I was talking to um, Steve Newell, who's the guy who I copied this setup from, and he tells me he's got the longer rod. I think this is 8.6 and he's got the 9.6. And I think it's similar to fly fishing, sometimes the longer rod is better. I think I'd be able to get more distance. So maybe sometime. Who knows, I might buy a longer rod. Yeah, I've got to say, I am disappointed in the lack of distance I'm getting today. And I might just have to put a um, Savage Gear Seeker on in a minute. And see if my um, distance will improve. Right. This little paddle tail isn't doing the stuff. So, I was fortunate that Charlie bought me a load of um, maps for Christmas. So I'll try one of those next. Let's go for a silver flashy one. That'll do. Because the water seems a bit coloured, We've got a MEPS with a perfection loop. Like that. And it's a brand new one. Little silver jobber. Hopefully. Nobber jobber. That might entice. Entice. That's the word, Joey. Thank you. What? Because that's got a lot more movement and flash in it than the paddle tail has. Because for the moment that didn't work. So. Yeah, Steve, I'm sure you're right, mate. I think I need a longer rod. Do 
Now I know it's, the water's not that clear, I know it's not sunny, but I'm quite surprised we haven't had any takes from schoolies. If you haven't subscribed to Jamie's channel, please do. You'll find the link in my description. He needs all the help he can get. That's not all subscribers, that's just with in general. Ah, <laughs> uh, me, I'm going for the blanking video. That's a better car. Yeah. Improving with confidence and wind and... Yeah. Oh! You met for it? Yeah. It obviously, um, maybe got caught behind me when I went. That's why it cast so far. Don't forget, it was a good cast. Oh, yeah, it was very much better. Well, that's because there was nothing on it. No, I actually decided mid cast to change the lure. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I like that one. What one? A meps with a little fish on it. This is a, a set that Charlie bought me for Christmas. Right, let's see if we can lose this one then. No, that's not the, the right thing to say, is it? It's out there. And I saw the double splash this time, so I reckon that last MEPS didn't, didn't um, take off. Still on the, on the stone somewhere. This is the problem with lure fishing, you can do this for hours and hours and hours and not get anything. And it was a hot day. Yeah, that didn't go. It went too well. These mips are catching on the um, ground here. That's the problem with four pound line. Yeah, the, mip, the mips went. So this is the problem with four pound line. Right, I think it's time for a change. I think it's time for a Savage Gear Seeker. 28 gram, straight onto the braid. Oh, actually, let's put a little clip on it, then it'll give it a bit of movement, won't it? So here we go then, I've connected small swivel, clip straight down to a 28 gram Savage Gear Seeker in white. I think it's called Pearl actually. Yeah, that's what I've got Pearl. Uh, I've, got them, I've got them seekers. Well, I am there. <laughs> oh, <look at> that. <laughs> now that's better. <laughs> Jamie, yeah? I'm going to say something to you that um, you're not going to like. What? Do you want to go to Kendall's? Yeah, why? Now. Because if we get through there before I tide, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we'll have a, a good chance there? That I would, I mean, that I would know, mate. Uh, so this, you might do. Which bit? Uh, the, up at the Hilsey Creek? Yeah. Well, let's see, if, let's get out of here then. Um, 
Right, we're moving, people. Up there. Right, we've moved. And this is, um, I think this is still called Hillsea Creek. That's the eastern road over there, coming out of Portsmouth. Anyway, look, I've got a little blue paddle tail on. Does anybody know where I can buy some more of these? I've looked and looked and looked and can't find any. But they're fantastic little things. Seekers and Kendalls. Oh. Alright, stay here then. Hello. Hello. Was that a fish? Of the weed variety or was it a fish? Oh, no. Bang. Yeah, but you keep oh, saying that. I don't know why these aren't catching. Hey? Said so I don't know why these aren't catching. Change of venue.